Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Hashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect. I'm the brother Kassad. And in this video, I wanted to speak on a testimony of a dream that I had last night. And this dream is uh, dealing with uh, persecution of the, the uh, New York City camp. All right. Because I'm, I'm part of the New York City camp and, um, you know, it's been a while since I had a, a prophetic dream. So, you know, I just wanted to go into it, man, because, you know, scriptures popped up in my mind. And I'm not able to bring out the scriptures right now because this morning I was in a rush and I had to handle handle some business. Okay. But low when I put the scripture I wanted to bring out in the post-production. But um, in this dream... <laughs> We was at the camp and I had I had left the camp because the the camp was right near my crib. You know, so I went to I went to my crib to use the bathroom. Alright, and then I spoke to my woman. She was in the dream. And I spoke to her briefly. And then I left. And I went back to the brothers. So as I went back, you know, the camp was already lining up. So the so we started lining up at the end of camp and I didn't realize what was going on until after I got on the line all right when I got on the line um it was these it was these uh there was there was it was these people there you know that I never seen before you know and they was dressed in like a special uniform like all white and they had like navy blue pants kind of looked kind of similar to like how the um navy dresses but it was like a special police force like an undercover police force right and you know they was all looking so-called white some of them looked like they could be jakes but they look like tears it was one that kind of looked like a like a like a like an ephraimite and then he tried he tried to shake my hand and as i i didn't i didn't want to shake his hand because i'm I, and i'm looking at him funny like 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 you know who, who are you who are you people and then you know he said to me with with the with the mean mug oh you're still a nigger so i ain't gonna lie i kind of i kind of lost it on the dude and the brothers was telling me yo kasai chill the fuck out so I, I i i i i shut my mouth and um i didn't realize that they had took every brother information you know took brothers wallets and stuff like I said, I got to the camp late. They took all the brothers' information, their wallets, their IDs, and then they arrested brothers, all right? And they arrested me as well, okay? They arrested all the brothers, including the apostles on down. You know, all the brothers got arrested, and they took us to this place. Now, I perceived that this place was a, was a concentration camp, all right? But they had all the brothers pretty much locked down, all right? So then I'm looking around the, the brotherhood and I'm I'm listening to the to the um the conversations and everything the brothers is having. So, you know, I realized there was mixed reactions to what went down. Some brothers was, you know, nervous, you know, scared. And then some brothers was um like, yo, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, man. Some brothers just didn't give a fuck. Okay. Um you know, I saw a couple of brothers in my dream. All right, I saw Zakar was in my dream. I saw Amar Gabar. I seen a couple, you know, the whole camp was there. I saw Barack Gabar there. I saw a couple of brothers there. All right. Um, but, um, yeah, so certain brothers was just like, they didn't give a fuck. Like, you know, if you're going to kill me, kill me. And then some brothers was kind of, you know, afraid. Me, I was a little bit of both. All right. You know, I, I was I was scared, but I'm like, yo, if I gotta die for this truth, fuck it, you know? And it is what it is. But I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here. So, you know, the spirit had it to where, you know, these devils were sloppy with the lockdown. And, you know, somehow, some way, you know, brothers started breaking out. You know, a few brothers, not every brother was able to get get, get up out of there, get low. But, you know, I was one of them brothers that, that found like a back door, some, some type of, you know, escape route. And um, you know, I started I started running as fast as I could. 
Now, when I was younger, I used to be real fast. Okay, but now I'm a little bit slower because, you know, putting on weight through age and stress. Okay, um, you had this this one dude, he was chasing me. He was chasing me. He was on he was on my tail, but he, he was he wasn't able to to catch me. All right, even though because because I wasn't running fast, but I wasn't stopping, so he wasn't able to like. It's like the spirit just had me keep running like without getting tired, so he wasn't able to catch me. All right, but um, that's how the dream went, man. Okay, you know the brothers got you know we got we got um hemmed up. All right, and then you know some brothers, you know uh escaped. But then, you know, some brothers was unable to escape. Second right. Ezra chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, the word insurrection, the definition is uh, a violent uprising against authority or government. All right. And, and that uprising is against the elect. All right, which is the the, uh, the future government of the kingdom of heaven, if you will. All right, and the ones that are uprising against us is the wicked elite. The wicked elite, which is who, you know, beginning with the um, the elite families of the nation of Edom, which is the so-called white man. All right, you know they they watch our videos. All right, they they're familiar with brothers. Okay, Esau with his technology is able to, you know, uh, accomplish anything, and you know, um, you know, you know, uh, have files on brothers, track brothers. Okay, you know, so forth and so on. So, you know, like I remember hearing my apostles and elders going into how you know, don't be surprised if you know they they bust through your. You know, they, they butt, they break down your door, they raid, they raid your crib four in the morning, you know, while you, while you are uh, with your pants hanging down, you know, sleeping, you know, you and your, um, really not your pants hanging down, but, um, you, you, you know, you in your, uh, pajamas, you know, sleeping and they pull you out your bed and arrest you, you know, <laughs> um, let me read on, it says, they shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay. As I just, you know, vividly explained, man. All right. You know, don't be surprised if Esau, he, um, you know, comes after you, man. You know, for, for bringing out this word. Okay. All right. This is what the scriptures is is, is is telling you, man. And that's why, you know, beginning our apostles and elders on down. All right. We always say we got to um, count the cost, man. The scriptures say you got to count the cost. All right. You got to know what you get yourself into. Know, you know, that there's a potential that, you know, you could be arrested. You could be killed for, uh, you know, for uh, serving your Ba Shemi Al Shah in a nutshell. Okay. You know, so um it says Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Alright. So if they come after you, you know, then you know that the most high is dealing with you, man. Alright? And we gotta endure until the end. Alright? Endure that chastisement and, and just pray to the Lord that he delivers us, which he will. Okay, even if your lot is to be a martyr for this truth. Okay. You know, then, then so be it, man. Okay, we're not saying that that's it's going to be a cakewalk. All right, but, you know, just trust in the Lord and, you know. We just gotta, you know, man, you know, gird up our loins. Trust in the Lord, Lord, and gird up your loins. Okay, so now, um, this is Luke, chapter twenty-one, verse twelve. It says, "But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons." 
being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Okay, so that was the point. Um, they're going to lay hands on brothers. They're going to persecute brothers. You know, bring brothers into um, synagogues and the prisons, concentration camps. All right. Bringing us before uh, kings and rulers for, for the Lord's sake, man. For the Lord's name's sake, man. For his truth's sake. Okay. So, um, that was about it. I'll close there. All right. Uh, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Okay. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.